Eric Mwade at Mwade.com with the weekend's market analysis video for the weekend of May 5th and May 6th, 2018. Let's take a look at markets here. We have about 15 minutes to go before the close. I want to show you what I am looking at and some of the factors that you can consider going forward. So let's take a look here. Nice update. Let's call it about 1.5% on average if you consider the major averages. All right, so let's begin our analysis. And what I'm going to do here is the best thing to do is try and break this down in two parts. The initial argument is going to be on the bullish side. And then I'm going to also give some bearish arguments because I can make a case for both of them based on how the charts are trading within a certain range. Let's begin with the NASDAQ weekly. And we can see on the NASDAQ weekly, I think the biggest takeaway, in my opinion, is the fact that we continue holding that RSI 50 level that we've been watching. Keep in mind the RSI 50 goes back to all these periods where the NASDAQ and the general market has been finding support and moving higher to new highs. Even here, we went back to new highs. And over the last couple of months, we've come here as of right now, we continue holding that RSI 50 level which might explain why we haven't broken down yet. And in fact, we can see for the week, the market's been coming back to test the 34-week moving average and market's been holding steady. So this is a good argument on the bullish side. The fact that the NASDAQ continues to hold above RSI 50. Keep in mind, one of the main attributes of holding RSI 50 is that you tend to test the highs after support if not break above the highs. Even here, we can see we would test the highs after the RSI 50 support. In fact, we actually even broke out. After this RSI 50 support, you can see the market tested the highs and actually did break out. So, as long as we are holding this level here on the RSI 50 on the weekly, the possibility of the market testing recent weekly closing highs and if not at some point breaking out comes back in play as long as the nasdaq is holding the rsi 50 level now for the day the reason why the market is having a, a nice showing especially the nasdaq up about 1.7 percent is because on the daily the rsi moved above 50 as we know when the market is moving above rsi 50 we tend to have some type of a expanded reaction to the upside. So again, we can see from a technical perspective, this makes sense. The market having this nice move to the upside as it moves above RSI 50 on the NASDAQ daily. Actually, this is also true for the S&P 500, which also had a nice showing on Friday. And we can see here holding above RSI 50 means that it's going to hold on to most of these gains into the close actually in my own estimation one of the biggest bullish arguments for the market right now is the nasdaq and actually the dow but right now the nasdaq is showing a positive gain for the month and believe it or not it now has sites should it choose to to take out the recent monthly closing high so that becomes a level to watch and should the market take out that level whoa that might lead to a tremendous upside possibility and the level to watch there is 7411.48 and again this is the current all-time monthly closing high from january of this year so if the market can break out above that that's very 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 bullish keep in mind also the nasdaq continues holding above 69.1 that being one of the reasons why we had a very successful 2017 once the nasdaq reclaimed the level above 69.1 you can see how it went on a very sharp run in 2017 similar to this period here 2013 2015 i like to show this because it's quite here in our face but you can see for two years the nasdaq pretty much held above 69.1 which gave the market this 
nice technical reason to have a nice couple of years between 2013 and 2015. So right now with the RSI on the NASDAQ for the monthly being above 69.1, that's a very strong argument as far as the market's intent. And of course, if it can break out above 7411.48, that's going to be a big deal as far as momentum to the upside is concerned. If we take a look at the Dow weekly and consider this breakout here, the breakout that was successful in taking the market to a very strong climatic run here, that breakout net net continues to hold the market. You can see it was tested here. Here it closed below it but reca recaptured the level immediately in the following week. Tested it here and held and this week it also held. So from a weekly perspective the Dow is doing its best to continue holding this line here and as long as it is holding then the market is doing exactly what the bulls want to see which is the market defending its most recent breakout and again the breakout is right there market's been coming back to this level and so far we've had a couple of attempts and for 2018 all these attempts have been successfully defended by the Dow again on the weekly RSI 50 level we can see this market's been holding RSI 50 and eventually going to fresh highs we held the RSI 50 here with uniform action. Eventually we went to test the highs, actually broke out. And here we've been holding the RSI 50. So net net, as long as we are holding that RSI 50, the market could easily be sideways before eventually moving higher. Again, as long as we are holding the RSI 50 on the weekly, the market continues to be constructive. Of course, should we break decisively below this level that might change the bullish picture and of course something else we cannot help but notice is on the daily for the Dow of course we nicely held the 200 day moving average at the beginning of last month and we can see over the last two days we've come back to test the 200 day moving average and the market has held that is exactly what you'd want to see in a bull market as long as the 200 day moving average is well defended then the bulls are still in control and that is obviously a bullish argument something of course the bulls should be proud of the fact that the market or encouraged by the fact that the market has held support on the 200 day moving average now that concludes pretty much the bullish argument let's take a look at some short-term bearish arguments and go back to the nasdaq weekly and on the weekly for the NASDAQ, a couple of possibilities here is that this line could become a backtest problem. You can see this was support if you connect the lows. Recently, we broke below the line here. And if we fail to reclaim this level, in other words, if the market is rejected here, that might be net net bearish for the NASDAQ short term. Now, if we take a look at a longer view for the NASDAQ, there's also another line that goes back to a previous bullish breakout line. So this line here is one we used in 2017 when the market broke out here. That was a bullish sign. And what we can do is extend that line. Should be something like that. Let me do it like that. And what we see is that it gave us the entry, it became support, support again here, support here, was support here again, and then it broke down. Now you can see now this could be a problem if the market is unable to move above this line. In fact, if you bring back the previous line, You see that right there. 
there is an intersection of those two lines. If these two lines become resistance, that might suggest that week to week, we might start pointing lower. Just something to consider. Also, on the NASDAQ daily, we can see that what the market did as of Friday's close was pretty much come to test the top side of this wedge. So we seem to be in a wedge as far as price is concerned. We also seem to be in a wedge as far as the RSI is concerned. So we are stuck in this wedge. At some point, the market decides whether it's going to break down below the wedge to begin another move lower or if now we are able to have enough energy to take out the top side of this price and RSI wedge formation. So we have to wait for the market to decide which one it wants to take, either break out or break down. Of course, short term, if you take a look at the hourly for the NASDAQ, you can see that there is a clear line connecting the top side of the hourly RSI, which might explain why we came off the highs late in the session on Friday. So that becomes a problem. If the market is to go higher, clearly it needs to take out this line. Otherwise, the way we closed on Friday pretty much confirmed that this is a level to watch and might suggest that we begin the week by the market moving lower as long as this is still showing resistance. Now keep in mind we can also arrive at the same conclusion if we take a look at this from my uniformity concept which is to figure out where we broke down recently and that was the break point corresponding with this movement lower. We take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line and you can see pretty much we're in, within the same conclusion which is the market has come back to test that break point or that failure point and is stalling. Keep in mind that level happens to be just about the 61.8 level which means that it is meaningful level of resistance. Now that's the hourly. If we take a look at the 30 minute chart we can see pretty much similar conclusions to that of the hourly. We have at the end of the session on Friday confirmation of topside resistance as long as that holds. That means we can continue expecting a pullback 30 minute to 30 minute unless the market has enough energy and intent to clear that resistance line. So we see that's clearly a level that the market is responding to so we have to respect it. Now also, we can see this corresponds with the recent break right there. And that break is still relevant because markets have come back to test that level and we are stalling on the same line. And of course, that line comes from the uniformity line, which is the break here corresponding with this drop. So the way we closed on Friday, the market did confirm top side resistance, which again is why I'm putting this on the bearish side of the argument. And also just like we saw with the NASDAQ, there's an argument that can be made that the Dow is struggling to hold above what was the recent break point here. So as long as this continues to be resistance, and the fact that we closed above RSI 50 opens the possibility that as we move below 50 on a weekly time frame, the market might go on to have a big down week. So something to consider if you see the Dow trading below 50 on the weekly RSI, that might confirm that the pressure for the entire week might be to the downside. And of course, it, it's worth noting here that what the bulls want to see is the market moving above this red backtest line. Now if we take a look at the Dow hourly, so as we can save some time, I'll go through this quickly because they're pretty much similar to that of the NASDAQ. We have topside resistance. 
as of the close of Friday session and also we have this uniformity resistance line by the way I'll add a link in the description of the video explaining this uniformity method but you can see pretty much here we are confirming that on the hourly for the Dow also we ended up with the resistance on those two lines and the market can of course clear that line for a bullish uptick or continue confirming resistance and we start the week by moving lower. If we take a look also at the S&P 500 hourly same conclusion pretty much and here we can see again topside resistance I'll do it like that or we can see uniformity resistance either way conclusion is the same we hit that level as of close of Friday market stalled around there for the highs you can take a look at the 30 minute chart for the S&P 500 and again similar type situation resistance where we expect resistance and as long as the market is not moving above this line we expect a pullback and same thing with the Dow on the Dow hourly pretty much they're all the same we can see the Dow hourly also coming back to test that level and responding to it as of the close of Friday's session as we saw with the Nasdaq pretty much what the market did do is rally back to the top side of its wedge on the daily and so we are still within this huge wedge on the Dow daily at some point the market is going to decide whether it wants to break out or break down from this wedge and we can also see this being shown on the RSI on the daily pretty much we are stuck and that's why the market has been very confusing over the last couple of days because it, we are stuck in this period here where markets just banging heads on this wedge at some point we are either going to break out above the wedge or break down below the wedge keep in mind it's not unusual for the market to fake people in other words it's not unusual and this is why the markets gets very confusing is that it's not unusual that we might initially either break down or break out only to break down or we can do it the other way which is to break down fake move and then break out so <laughs> kind of at the mercy of the market as far as that is concerned take a look at the S&P 500 also we can draw top side resistance like that if you connect the daily closing highs and the daily closing lows you end up with something like this pretty much we are stuck in this wedge formation the market at some point is going to decide whether it wants to move to the upside by breaking out or move lower by breaking down otherwise one of the main takeaways here is that as of right now of course this could change it's a fluid situation as always but the Dow right now is still unable to recapture the 69.1 level of course if the Dow can move above 69.1 that would be very bullish if it fails then that starts setting the stage for a pullback and also the S&P 500 continues to try and recapture the 69.1 level anything above 69.1 would be bullish failure to move above 69.1 ultimately sets the stage for a market that might pull back now that concludes the free part of this video the rest of the video is for paid moade.com subscribers enjoy your weekend of course i'll keep you posted in the next weekend edition of my market analysis eric moade with as always good luck peace and blessings for subscribers, let's continue on.